The main structure of the dam at Llinbriani is finished. Impounding can start. This is the upstream face of the dam. The draw-off tunnel and gate shaft are ready, but the river still flows through the main tunnel below. Before this tunnel is sealed, an emergency gate must be lowered into the draw-off shaft and so prevent the rising waters of the reservoir entering it. Now the stoplock gate can be placed at the entrance to the diversion tunnel and the tunnel itself sealed. It will then be dry and work on the outlet can be completed. But as the man-made lake fills, a guaranteed flow of water must still be maintained through a permanent scour pipe. While the reservoir fills, the tunnel will be permanently plugged with concrete. At the downstream end, the delivery pipes from the draw-off tunnel and shaft can be installed. The regulator house and valve systems will also be finished. The water will continue to rise during the summer and, less than a year after impounding, water will be able to flow over the spillway crest and safely downstream. Then, when all the tunnel works are completed, the emergency gate can be lifted. It will be left raised but ready to be used if needed at any time. Three permanent discharges will be available through the scour pipe, through the draw-off tunnel, shaft and draw-off system and in times of flood over the spillway. The third year of the project ends. Now come the months of finishing and of impounding. Upstream, bulldozers reduce the river flow while impounding operations go ahead. The precast units of the concrete trash trucks are placed. A steel screen is fixed at the entrance to the draw-off tunnel. The stop-lock gate is lowered on its supporting towers, sealing the tunnel entrance. Three years ago, this was a remote country valley. Soon it will be a growing reservoir. 215 hectares of the valley, in my language about 525 acres, have been cleared of trees. But otherwise only sheep have been moved. Not a single farm will be inundated. fish traps, bailiffs can assist the fish in their migration, above and below the dam. High above the reservoir, the new roads are surfaced. The last work on the spillway is tackled, the crest. Steel reinforcement outlines its OG section. The pipe system in the tunnel and its outlet can now be finished. Within the tunnel, the permanent concrete plug can be made. The main pipe branches into three at the outlet, giving a discharge up to 35 cubic meters of water a second. The bridges are being built. This is the lower one, leading to the control house. The upper bridge leads to the road across the crest of the dam. High above the spillway, its formwork needs a forest of scaffolding. And all the time, the Tawi, now controlled, flows through the scour pipe.
commissioning of the dam, the people who have helped to build it can relax in a chat with Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra, bask in the Welsh sunshine and the knowledge of a job well done. control centre at Falindra near Swansea regulates the flow of water from the new lake. At the push of a button, whenever necessary, a radio signal is transmitted and more water is automatically released at Llynbriani. Water flows down the Tawi Valley at a controlled rate. 400,000 people in the Swansea area are now benefiting. Almost 400,000 cubic meters a day are available. All this has been achieved a whole year ahead of schedule, thanks to the speed with which the Llynbriani Dam was built, and the river's environment is unscarred. Nantkaredig pumping station, 64 kilometers downstream from Llynbriani. Here water is pumped from the Tawi into settling tanks. for commerce and industry. Water for Wales. 